Welcome to Animation Technically, and today we're going to be delving into the world of Roblox and specifically Avatar importing uh, because this seems to give people a lot of trouble if it's any indication of my DMs on Twitter. This is something that causes a lot of issues and in honesty a fair good reason. Uh, specifically we're going to be talking about R15 characters because if you're importing something custom you can generally get away with almost anything but if you want to use an R15 and you're trying to get your own custom character in there's a few requirements you're going to have to work to. So we're going to jump into Autodesk Maya for this, but you can use 3D Max or you can use Blender, whatever really works. Uh, Maya Lite is good if you want the cheap option, Blender as well, both being free. But what we're going to see here straight away is that your average human avatar has a few requirements in how it works. Uh, specifically for every bone that's a part of an R15 character, you need a matching piece of mesh. So if you look in our hierarchy here in Maya, this is called the outliner, but you'll have similar things in every 3D software. You have, for example, your head, which is the joint itself, you can see highlighted here. And then you have the head geo, which is the actual physical object. So while well, obviously moving the head doesn't do much, if you want to go in game with its rig, you have to have everything parented to the head. For that point, it's just a matter of exporting. And for that, you're gonna export everything we're going to export it and we're going to save it and call it Avatar with no animation. Uh, specifically, I generally work with the FBX 2004-2015 uh, codec uh, set to binary and that's generally because that's what most uh, documentation points to compatibility wise. Other versions do work. I stick with this just for general best practice. It's the best supported. If it points to the documentation, it's generally the best thing to go with. And here we have back in Roblox, if we just get rid of those, we're going to bring our avatar in as an R15, and here's our avatar, something you want to notice, bringing an avatar has a few conceptions, one it tries to put a face on the head, so you can clear that off, but now if you go into your animation editor and you start an animation, add the parts, pick a part, head, and rotate away and you can make your animations. However, what if you want deformation? the rules change a little bit, jumping back into Maya. So when it comes to working with binding and skinning, you don't need everything to be parented. So what we're going to do here is just undo that. And we're going to take all our mesh, and we're going to unparent it, and leave it as it is. Because now we can select all the bones, all of this, and bind it. And it'll work how we want it to work. Obviously I'm not doing a proper skin pass on this, I have other videos on that if you want to know how that process works, but you can see now everything is bound. It's no longer parented and the skinning influences what moves the vertexes. And you can do the same thing if we now export that and we'll call this one Avatar Skin. Let's jump back into Roblox. Okay, so there's our first guy. Now we're going to bring in another one. Again, R15 Avatar Skin. And we'll just move him over here a little bit. And there we go. We'll do the same thing again. We'll just take the head and take that decal off it because we don't want that. And now we're going to jump back into the animation editor. This time this guy. Again, add the bones. Let's take the left upper leg and move that. And you'll see this time we have a skinned avatar coming in. Now you'll need to do a proper skin pass, but it's really that simple if you want to just take it in. Um, and then obviously... You can add your animations as well if you want to import from Roblox something you've already uploaded or from an FBX animation you have. Do an animation like this. And we'll do what is the equivalent of a very horrible floss. And now we're going to export all again. It doesn't really matter, but we're going to put it on here. You can include animations in your general file, but I'm just going to click this. Now we're going to import. An animation from an FBX, we delete what we currently have, and here's our animation. And you can just scroll through and see it doing its very bad floss. But it's as simple as that, there's nothing technical to it. The documentation does make it seem a little more complex than it is. If you want to do something more complex, something non human onto an R15, then things start to get haywire, and I can cover that in the future. But if you're just trying to do an avatar, you shouldn't have any problems at all. It should be nice and simple for you and you shouldn't hit any general bugs that this process does come to 
git if you try to do something more complex. But for now, there you go.